senses clearly that some people will abandon the faith in later times. They will obey, obey like uh, lying spirits and follow the teachings of demons. Such teachings are spread by deceitful liars whose conscience consciences are dead as if burned with hot iron. Such people teach you that, that, that it is wrong to marry and to eat certain foods. But God created those foods to be eaten after a prayer of thanks by those who are believers and have to know the truth. Everything that God has created is good. Nothing is to be rejected, but everything is to be received with prayer of thanks. Because of the word of God and the prayer made it acceptable to the Lord. If you have these instructions to the, to the brothers, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus as you feed yourself spiritually on the words of faith and of the true teaching which you have followed. But keep away from those godless legends which are not worth telling. Keep yourself in training for a godly life Physical exercise is some value, but spiritual exercise is valuable in every way because it promises life, both for the present and for the future. This is true saying to be completely accepted and believed. We struggle and work hard because we have placed our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all and especially of those who believe. All people in it. Yeah, different different. Give them though this instruction and these teachings. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But be an example for the believers in your speech, your conduct, your love, faith, and purity. Until I come, give your time and effort to the public reading of the scriptures and to preaching. And teaching. Do not neglect, neglect the spiritual gift that it is in you, which was given to you when the prophets spoke and the elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things and devote yourself to them, in order that your progress may be seen by all. Watch yourself and watch your teaching. Keep on doing these things because if you do, you will save both yourself and those who hear. So many things here also, but we cannot touch everything. Only a few things, I think, but they are really good. I think if you, if, if people who really devote time expanding every verse, there's a lot to learn. Um, first, it's uh, about about um, people who will one day turn away from their faith, the teachings of the apostles, they will turn away from the teachings of uh, the word of God also. And there will be liars teaching teaching uh, to deceive and to mislead people. People with seared conscience. Uh, they will make some, they will implement um, rules, man-made rules not to marry. I don't know. Some people say that, that the Catholic Church is the one who fulfilled this because they forbid the priests to marry. I don't know exactly if that is the truth, of this, if that's what uh, Paul is referring to here, if that's the fulfillment of false prophecy here. But, um, maybe in other religions or maybe in other branches of Christianity, I have no idea. I cannot. Uh, speak more on that because I don't know. I don't know really. Um, they will also forbid certain food. And Paul is saying here that if you thank, if you receive food with thanksgiving and prayer before God, it will be acceptable. And uh, everything that God made is good. Even if you eat something that doesn't really seem like something. Well, if it's not meant for food, then of course you not. Know. Yeah, of course, there's limits, there's, there's boundaries to that. What is acceptable food? Of course. 
I guess. I mean, that would make sense. Because there the are first instinct of someone who saw something that wouldn't usually be eaten, like a whale for some reason. Obviously, there are... It would be like, EW! Obviously, there are creatures or plants that are not meant for food. That are... We Sinabi that naman ni Lord na may mga bagay na hindi pwedeng kainin na. Yung hayop na mga... What I'm saying is, uh, even outside of the Old Testament testimony, big man has also learned that there are certain things that are good and beneficial for our bodies that, that we will uh, uh, benefit from. And then the Iglesia ni Cristo. And also, yung iglesia naman ng Diyos, may mga man-made ka na nala, na sila ng mga rin. And that, sila lang yung mga uh, nag-tupad uh, para mga ito. Yeah, I need, to, I need to know more about that. Hmm? Yeah. Kung ipopost daw, kung ipopost ko daw, so, but uh, I like this one here. I have nothing to do with silly, irreverent, silly myths. I don't know. So there are many silly, silly myths, myths that we hear. Uh, but Paul was saying, that, um, have nothing to do with those things. Parang sa kanya, hindi issue na. May silly myth that makes no sense with this one. Which one? Name down. Name a silly myth that um, Paul's talking about. I don't know what's their silly myths that back in those days. Oh, oh, oh. But there are many nowadays. What one? There you 51. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But there are people like, you know, are so engrossed in certain um, <coughs> things nowadays, which really is just meant to distract us from the truth. Um, I, uh, we'll have to maybe look it up. What are the what are the silly myths that people are believing nowadays that are really uh, uh, so silly myths? Un, yeah, unlikely. Uh, yeah, well, watch this uh, alien theory. Yeah, UFO. And I just watch it pretty. Interesting. Maybe maybe we can count those. I don't know, but there are people who spend all their lives just. Following the trail yeah, of aliens and UFOs. Government funded. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know how to. <laughs> no, I don't know I'm how not to even come kidding. Out. Funded, yeah, that, those are true. Those are. This is an organization for that's aliens. That's true. I know. I mean, uh, I cannot speak much about it because I don't know much, much of the subject. Yeah. But that can be. That can be probably a silly myth that's going on around us. But mm -hmm. who knows? Uh, what's important is we focus well, on. We focus on. Paul was saying here, we focus on the teaching. And uh, uh, verse 8, it says, While bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Remember, I was talking about earlier that the God we serve is a God who can deliver us from all our present struggles and also is uh, also desiring to save us and also... Uh, Intentional in saving mankind from eternal, eternal uh, misery in hell. Okay, so this is kind of connected to what we mentioned earlier. And he is now talking here about godliness. And in what's that uh, word they use in the Buddhist Bible? Here they use godliness. As spiritual exercises, they say there, huh? No? They use the spiritual exercises. Verse uh, 8. Um, verse 8. Physical exercise is some value, but spiritual exercise yeah, is valuable in every way. So it says here that spiritual exercise, or in my version, godliness, has value in this life and in the next. So that means that in eternity. So that means godliness... And for it to be compared to physical exercise or bodily training here in my version. I don't know, it's probably, it, we can almost 
conclude that godliness also has benefit in our physical well-being. Yes, of course. Yeah. And I think also, yeah, I think also one main reason is, of course, when you're godly, you will honor your body. You yes. Will have, you will have discipline. You don't abuse your body to because your you, body, yeah. yeah. To keep your body pure. If you're just physically disciplined to exercise or to be fit, but you, there's also a possibility that you can still be, you can still be abusing your body in certain areas of your life. So, obviously, there will be some consequences to that. But it's it's a good thing, you know. It's it means that to be godly will be a blessing to our well-being now and to our well-being for eternity. And Paul says, command, and Paul says, we, we strive for this end. We, we work hard for this to be known. Because we have, we have our hope, we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. look at that God meant God means to save all people but all especially he mentioned it especially of those who believe so there's a if we consider ourselves people who believe our God is God of the Bible then we are special for his salvation and he said command to teach these things And then he said, do not neglect the gift which you have, which was given you by prophecy when the Council of Elders laid their hands on you. I wonder what that gift is. Paul, in another letter, talks about people have a gift of healing, gift of prophecy, gift of preaching, gift of teaching, and also gift of generosity. Gift of, gift, gift of generosity as also a gift. We may, we may only look at the supernatural gifts and think, oh, they're special. But God also gives gifts of generosity, the ability to bless others by Giving. the gift. So that's Thank it's important. Guys. It's important that we practice this. As I was saying, if we talk about God who saves for eternity, mm -hmm. uh, it's important that we we demonstrate to them also that this God who saves for eternity can also bring deliverance to them in their lives right now so that they can come to believe in the God who's, who's for, for now and forever. That's why we try to give when we share the gospel and if we can heal also, maybe we will do. <laughs> there are times that we have seen God heal someone. Um, we don't see it all the time because we we don't practice the faith to do that, but God can do that, I believe, and God can use us also. Um, I remember one time, I love to think that's a miracle. I want to I want to say it is, and I hope it is by His grace that He, he brought glory to His name. That we were having a Bible study with the worship team, I was talking to one brother and I had recently a back pain on that day and I was I had treatment uh, you remember last two years ago when I had the back pain after, two years ago after traveling back from the Philippines huh? oh. so we were meeting recently with this brother uh, we were meeting together and there's this brother from the worship team and he said he, he had this back pain for, for the past few days and he find it really hard to move about but he's still managing to move about, but he's just struggling and trying to um, move. And then uh, I had the burden for us, a small group of us, maybe there's only four or five big people among us in that meeting. And I said, well, why don't we pray for him? So we, we at the end of our sharing, we, 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 go, we went around him and we laid hands on him and we prayed for him. And then um, we didn't hear. From him, and then that weekend, 
I met him. I don't know if I met him personally or spoke to him by chat, but I finally was able to talk to him and I asked him how his back is and he said uh, he slept like a baby that night. He, 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 it was gone completely after we prayed. So, uh, of course, we, we, we only can credit that to God's work working through us through his people if we if we can use these gifts especially to non-believers also i mean of course we want to use this for us for the church for the people of god but if these gifts will manifest outside to others to non-believers that will be something that will draw them to believe and to come to faith in our god the god we serve Let's move to, and Paul at the end, he said, keep watch of yourself and your teaching. So you will save yourself and others and your hearers. Now, why does, why does he want that? There are teachers nowadays who are really good teachers. People are amazed with the, the way they teach. Them. They are good speakers. Good speakers. And people's lives are changed. People are saved, for sure, definitely. We're not but, just changing lives. We're not not just making new stories. We're changing lives. From where is that? Don't okay. So, <laughs> what what's he what's he talking about here? Is there are which is what we can see now that there are these gifted teachers and preachers, but when you look closely on their lives, we don't want to judge them. But it was it was just. It just manifested at, at the end of the day. Um, it was just revealed that these great speakers, some of them really admired, even I admired and, and really look up to. At the end of the day, they were, I mean, after some time, they were exposed to have really um, having double lives. And, and um, I don't want to mention the name, but it was really discouraging. I already know. His life was uh, when his secrets was uh, un un I, uh, unraveled for, before the church. So it's really this discouraging. So it's important that we, even if we, even if we serve God and we manifest goodness and, and the holiness of God, we should be sure that our lives also are fully surrendered to Him, not making secret um, activities that. Is not um, the character of God, or is not pleasing to God. 